Hey gang, Scott here. One of the new features in Photo Raw 2022 is a redesigned export experience. And the export panel now has lots more options, much more control and flexibility for any kind of exporting you need, really. It's a, it's a, it's a nice redesign. It puts more things, I think, clearly at our fingertips. I'll do a separate video with a full breakdown of the export window uh, later on, but in this video I want to focus on connecting export from On1 to other tools, namely JPEG Mini. So JPEG Mini lets you compress and shrink down the size of your JPEGs still with a high quality output but a smaller file size and it's great for social shares, for web postings, that sort of stuff. It's a wonderful, uh, you know, the best of both worlds. You get a quality image with a small file size so it loads faster for your audience. And so I wanna show you how to connect those two things together here in this video. So let's get that look here. A brief visit to JPEG Mini. Uh, it's a super simple interface. It just pops up here. Normally you'd drag files onto this, uh, this window here and it would just compress them. Why I'm here is I wanna point out one thing in the options is allow it to optimize originals. Just have that checkbox set. And that way, when you send a file into JPEG Mini, it will say, great, I got it. Let me go do my thing. And I'll put the compressed, shrunk, smaller file right back in the same place with the same name. Uh, that's how I use it. I trust JPEG Mini to do the right thing. I haven't had any problems with it. And you want that set to make this export from On1 to be super smooth. So now let's get into the On1 side of things. Let me bring up the export panel here, click on that. And we have this whole new experience here. You can see I've got a bunch of different presets already set up for myself, but one of them I have called is JPEG Mini for Web. And I haven't finished setting this preset up. We're gonna do that together right now. So I've got a different set of file naming. I've got a destination. But it's the destination area down here after export. I'm gonna show it in the finder. I also want to have it open in JPEG Mini. So I'll go here. It has two default choices right now, but I can send it to another application. So I will do that. And I'll find JPEG Mini in my applications. There it is. And just say open. Now I've got that here, JPEG Mini Pro. Wonderful, great. I'm ready to export this. So let's go ahead and do it here. Now I wanna point out a couple of things. I've got JPEG. Quality 100, profile of sRGB. Right now, Photoraw is saying I'm estimating 0 0.9 megabytes, and I'm exporting at 1,500 pixels on the long side. As a matter of fact, why don't we do this? One of the other cool things we can do, save those settings. I can check multiple presets, so I can have both of these go to different places here. Let's export. You have multiple presets enabled. We'll do this export against both presets for this file. Wonderful. I'll just have things go to my desktop and let things fly. The export's done. You can see JPEG Mini ran and it told me it saved uh, over a megabyte on this file, 67% reduction. Now I am exporting at 100% uh, of quality on, on the JPEG, which is very, very high, but you know, I did that intentionally and here in the finder window, I've got my two files. I add a JPEG mini suffix so on my JPEG mini preset. So I've got two separate files. Let's go ahead and look at those side by side here. So here's the JPEG mini one, 600 kilobytes, give or take. There's that 1500 on the long side. And then here's the other one, nearly two megabytes. Now this is a 100% quality JPEG so is this with JPEG Mini. So you know, JPEG Mini does a great job at compressing the file, but what's really, really nice is now I don't have two steps when I'm working with On1 Photo Raw. I export from On1 Photo Raw, tell it to go to JPEG Mini, it all just happens, and when I really need to share to the web, I don't need to use both presets. I use my JPEG Mini one, I get a nice, small, tight file size, and it's uh, ready to post straight away. So I hope you found this interesting and uh, you can see maybe some other opportunities for connecting export into other applications for your export workflow. And if you've got any other questions, go ahead and drop them below. Until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.